Hey there, Luma. This is the Hourglass Eyelet Lace Stitch Pattern. It is gorgeous on the front, and although not 100% reversible, because on the other side, it looks more like a lacy basket weave, I think it looks great on both sides, which make it perfect for so many projects. Hey, it's Denise from Lumahead.com and I'm super happy to bring you this. It looks very complicated, but it's very easy. Now, as always, I wanna give you that heads up that this is a stitch pattern only video, so there's no cast on or cast off because projects, not stitch patterns, determine how you start and finish. All right, without further ado, let's start with row one. Super easy, you're going to knit five and purl one. I'm also gonna let you know a little bit about my swatch. Let's get started. This stitch requires six stitches to complete the pattern. So it is a multiple of six. I repeated those six stitches three more times for my swatch. In other words, the sample of fabric that you're looking at. And at the end, I added an extra stitch, which is not part of the pattern, as well as two stitches in the front that um, at the beginning that are also not part of the pattern. So we're gonna start with that first uh, knit stitch, and you see that I'm using the flat version of the knit stitch. So I place the yarn over the existing loop, take the bottom loop over the top and knit off. There are five of those. You can also use the true or the U wrap. And then we're gonna end that row with a purl. To do the purl, you put your working yarn under the existing loop, scoop up to create a new loop, take the existing loop off the peg, and then put the new loop on the peg and pull on your working yarn. All right, that's row one. You're going to repeat as necessary and then you're ready for row two and here you're going to purl one, E wrap one, knit three, E wrap one and that's your six stitches. So let's get to it. We're on the other side because we're knitting flat. Remember that that first uh, peg of mine is not part of the pattern and we're gonna start with that one purl stitch. And you guys already know how to do the purl stitch. Now the next one is going to be an E-wrap. So we're gonna take the working yarn behind the peg and completely wrap that peg. And then you're gonna take the bottom loop over the top and knit off. Then your next one is a U-wrap. So half wrap the peg and knit off. You're gonna follow that with another U-wrap or a flat or a true. They're interchangeable. And then you're gonna end row two with another E-wrap. So from the back, completely wrap the peg, take the bottom loop over the top and knit off. That is row two, repeat as necessary, and then you're ready for row three. This row looks way more complicated than it actually is. So hang tight with me because I'm gonna show you how easy this is. You're going to yarn over, knit two together, purl one, knit two together, yarn over, and knit one. I promise that you can do this. So first things first, remember that I have two stitches at the beginning that are not part of the stitch pattern, so just ignore them. We're gonna start with these two first pegs, which are actually will be the yarn over, knit two together. So the first thing we're gonna do for the yarn over is to take the loop off that peg, unravel the e-wrap and then take the peg the loop to the next peg which is where you're going to do the knit two together so you take your working yarn there's no loop on the first one and two loops on the one next to it to do the yarn over you just basically take your yarn put it over the empty peg over to the next one and then knit those two loops knit them off you you've done a knit two together and then you're ready to do a purl one so the next stitch is a purl one right here. You know how to do your purl. Take the loop off, put one on, pull. And then now it's opposite. Now you're gonna do a knit two together yarn over. So remember your yarn over peg needs to be emptied. So you need to take the loop off that next peg, 
take it off the peg unravel it and bring it over to where your knit two together is because the first thing you need to do is knit two together and you don't have to do them together you can do them one at a time and then take the yarn and you're going to lay it over where your yarn over needs to be and then you're going to knit one right here okay if you need to rewind and watch it again so you could see no big deal you can handle this for row four we're going to knit three purl one and knit two so real quick because this one's super easy you're just knitting three and here you see that i use the u wrap you can use the flat the true all of them are fine if you want to use an e-wrap then use a small gauge loom all right you purl one and then knit two by the way i wanted to show you um what that yarn over looks it's a little funky just knit it off and then repeat as necessary for row five we're going to be on the other end because we're knitting flat you're going to knit two purl one and then knit three by the way if you want to see this pattern uh in the round for things like hats go to lumahead.store and you'll find the pattern there uh, has flat and in the round all right so you do those two knit stitches and then one purl stitch you guys know how to do your purl stitches right and then you're going to follow that with three knit stitches again in this direction i just happen to like using the flat i use flat and you interchangeably even though the fat the flat is a little tighter but i just feel more comfortable all right repeat those six stitches as necessary and then you're ready for row six for this row you're going to knit two e wrap one purl one e wrap one and then knit one so first those two knit stitches again i'm on the other end because i'm knitting flat so i'm doing two u wrap versions of the knit stitch half wrap take the bottom loop over the top and knit off and then you're going to follow that with an e wrap so from the back completely wrap your peg take the bottom loop over the top knit off and then you're going to follow that with one purl stitch so from the top scoop up create a new loop take the old loop off and put the new one back on e wrap so from the back completely wrap the peg take the bottom loop over the top knit off and you're going to finish that with one knit stitch and then repeat those six stitches as necessary and you're ready for row seven for all my brave lumas that are still with me we're going to knit two together yarn over knit one then yarn over knit two together and purl one okay so i kind of messed up here right with my first set of repeats this set right here the video didn't catch and so i'm starting on my second repeat it's the same thing i'm going to start right here make believe this is peg one and two at the very very beginning so we're going to knit two together and yarn over so the second peg has the yarn over that's where i got to take the loop off unravel it and bring it to the first peg which is where i need the new to knit two together so i have to have two loops there and as you can see i have the two loops so i take my working yarn put it over those two loop and knit those two loops they don't necessarily have to be together and then take that yarn and yarn over that empty peg right there and i'm going to anchor it with my knit one that was my yarn over this is my knit one and now i'm ready for yarn over knit two together so my yarn over comes first i take the loop off that peg i take it over to the next one which is where i need to do my knit two together correct I take my working yarn and i yarn over the empty peg and take the working yarn and put it over those two existing loops now i'm going to take those and i'm going to knit them off not necessarily together i'm going to end that right with a purl one easy pleasy take the working yarn put it under the existing loop create a new one take the existing off put a new one on and 
cool. And then you're ready for row eight. Row eight is super special because it is the last row and all you have to do is purl one and then knit five pegs. Again, we're on the other side of the loom because we're knitting flat and we're gonna start with that one purl. And I wanna remind you that this flat version works for things like scarves, blankets. If you want this pattern in the round for things like hats, and socks, then go to lumahat.store to purchase the pattern. You do two things. You get a written version and you help me out, which I always appreciate. Thank you so much. All right, that's the end of row eight. And the end, you're gonna repeat those six stitches and those eight rows as necessary for your pattern. And guys, that's the end. Thank you so much for watching and for commenting and i love it love it love it when you share youtube is going to show you some videos they think you're going to like and i think they're right until next time <laughs>